Jeremiah, obviously you, uh, you played a little bit last year. Um, what, what's the growth been like from Citrus Bowl to spring practice? Have you seen the, can you see visibly kind of like where you, you, you've taken strides? 100%, I think even in that little segment when we had the, end of our, the last game of our season to the Citrus Bowl, I got a lot better. And then now from the Citrus Bowl to now, I've, I've gotten a lot better. My confidence has rose every single day and just my level of preparedness ha has rose. So definitely a big difference from Citrus Bowl to now. Ryan? How comfortable are you with both the mic and will position and being able to play both? I feel, I feel very comfortable. Of course, there's always gonna be some mistakes and that's why we learn every day, come to meetings every day, uh, try not to make the same mistake twice, but I feel, I feel very comfortable at both positions. Go to Adam and then Rick. Gus talked about how it's how playing is different once you go through the all season weight training and all that. How, physically, how is it different now than when you first came in as a freshman? Um, I definitely put some weight on, and I, I trust what I can do, and I trust my technique, and trust what the coaches say. So you put together the weight room, your technique, and the way that I play, which is fast and physical. Um, my body's felt great, and physically, I feel dominant. Coach Inns, uh, Coach Inns talks about a philosophy of players teach players, teammates teach te uh, teammates. Have you seen that? Do you enjoy that aspect of the process? Just how, how have you seen that be beneficial here in these first couple weeks? Yeah, definitely the player teach player has been big for us. Um, our unit has grown a lot closer just even in these last four or five weeks. Um, I believe that once if you can preach it, then you can go out there and do it. And you got to be able to preach it before you can do it. Um, so, and just building the chemistry of if I can teach one of my guys and they can listen to me, and if they can teach me and I can listen to them, um, I, th I think we have a chance to be one of the best units. Any other questions, Patrick? Jeremiah, you were last half of last season, you were really productive coming down the stretch, last game, full game, you played a lot of tackles. Was there a moment last year where you think kind of clicked that you felt comfortable playing at this level? It was tough being a freshman and playing that position, but moment where you kind of felt like it sort of clicked for you a little bit? I wouldn't say there's one moment. Um, as the games went on, um, I felt more and more confident, but also our, our coach and our players did a great job of having everybody prepared. So if you can go out and do it in practice every single day, then you should be able to go and do it in the game. Um, so, But it definitely took some time, but I would say that my confidence rose each week. Awesome. Jeremiah, you, you came in last year midterm um, and, and had that kind of build up to, to spring ball. Um, Edwin just arrived like literally two days before spring ball. Can you imagine like not having the winter workouts, also just going to the practice field without any kind of like, you know, like team preparation type stuff like, like he's done? Because he's got a lot of praise here today. Yeah, right. Edwin, big praise to him because I, I came early, but I had five weeks to install, watch film. His first day was the first day of freaking spring practice, so big praise to him. Uh, he's done a great job of just learning and listening to us, and I think the LBs, the older guys in there, we've done a great job of just asking him where he needs help and just giving him pointers and whether it's staying, at, staying after meetings, um, walking through something. Um, but Edwin's done a great job, and he's gonna c continue to progress, because um, I can only imagine your first day being first day of spring ball, so. Go to Rick and then finish up with Wes. I think last year you were described as a gym rat. Just how much have you enjoyed being in this Tennessee weight room for all this time now? And, and how much has that improved, or how much has that helped you just throughout this offseason? How much stronger have you gotten? It's helped me a lot. Uh, I feel like physically I'm where I need to be. And one thing through this, um, speed, um, this uh, strength training, um, one thing that's really progressed is my speed. Um, I've always loved pushing the weights and stuff, but just getting my hips more loose and becoming more versatile and fast. Uh, I feel like physically and my speed is where it needs to be right now. So they've done a great job. Wes. Jeremiah, as some of these you know, other guys start to get back healthy and, and more guys and young guys keep improving, what do you expect the competition to be like for, for places there? Obviously, everybody wants the team to win, but people want to play too so what do you expect that to be like yeah the competition is going to be super high i mean this spring you can just see it out there every day we're all competing for a spot competing for a rep um it's going to go right into summer see who 
who can do it in the summer and then see who can do it again in the fall just to see who could be the most consistent and make the big time plays when they come. All right, thank you, Jeremiah. Appreciate y'all.